I am so low on health. Okay, so the last time on the serial killer Nazi's castle that we've been going in, um, we were escaping prison. We made it to boat, and now we continue. Hope that's good enough recap for you. <laughs> it's good enough for me. <laughs> Alright, let's get this show going. Let's get this boat going. I'm ready now. Around. <laughs> well, anyways, it's good to be back into this game. I gotta, you know. Wait, oh, we're taking a boat to another area. So they don't technically need this gun, actually. There's a map here. Let's just explore a little bit real quick while we're here. Oh, wait, locked doors. Does that mean I can get in here? Opens from the other side. There's got to be a way up, too. Oh, oh, what, what was right here? Oh, was it just the ammo? Okay. Why was I able to open that? Is this a, this is a secret Easter egg? I'm liking where this is going. Oh, the castle's right here. I didn't even look. Hopefully there's not some secret Easter egg with that tree, which it really feels like there is. For some reason, I feel like this is the path to go for me. There's got to be secrets. You snake. <laughs> it didn't reload. Why not reload? I not have enough ammo to reload. Just reload both guns. Goodness, reload. Why is this? Why? What? It's a path for me to go, they say. It's a cool little secret Easter egg path, they say. Full of juggernauts and fully armored guys that will slaughter me in seconds. Yes, yes. I hate this game. There we go, goodness. What do these guys even look like? What are they wearing? They're like wearing hazmat suits. I haven't really used this gun. I never use the alt guns like this very often. I always end up saving them for the boss that they don't do damage on, and then I spam everything on them and realize it was just such a huge waste. So, I might as well have a little bit of fun with that. Okay, it sucks so bad. What is this thing I got? The stock hammer. It's a shotgun. Oh, yeah. We got ourselves a shotgun. I'm so happy I went this way then. Another lever. Okay, it's concerning because I could take that boat that way. 
and the game wanted me to, so it's I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going this way now. Dude, I, is the boat the bonus area, or is there two ways into this place? Well, this is the path I chose, so I am not turning back now. That is very interesting that I've seen two different ways in. Oh, it reminds me of Dryzen Dracus so much. I love castles. Oh, this is going to be so fun to explore. Who the heck are you? You don't look German or English. You look like a douchebag. Oh. No. Oh. That's a shotgun. That's a shotgun, not a sniper rifle. Yep, I understand. I understand. I, I knew that beforehand. I can dual wield these shotguns, though. Alright, no, they love their grenades in this game. They really do. Oh, I understand. Never mind. I don't think it was a secret. I think I have to go through both to get this door open. So the next path I have to take is the boat path. Okay, I thought I was being cool. Man. It turns out the game just wanted to slap me in the face and say, Nope. Not at all. Nothing. Zero. But I thought I was doing the right thing. And then we can enter Castle Wolfenstein. Actually, I really like this level now, just because of the way that turned out. That's actually really nice. Oh, I want the armor. Oh, I get the armor. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Another nightmare? Nope. Those really are nightmares. I hate that those levels so much. I feel like the- oops. I feel like this is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be, so can I drop the gun? Bam. Bam. You know what? I'm going to be happier with this one. It's easier to manage. Pow. Just bam. You're out of, out of this world. Gone. I'm missing a key. Oh, it wasn't an auto turret. It was just guy sitting in that thing. Okay, I thought it was some kind of auto turret. That had to There's a staircase right here this whole time. You're telling me this wouldn't be a full zombie map? Black Ops 3 recreated it. Bro shot the wrong guy. Should have just hid. Oh my goodness. I really just didn't want you to talk at time. Oh, I switched guns for some reason. I didn't mean to. It's fine. There's a dog behind me. Oh, I thought there was. Okay, he's way too quiet. You can't even hear what he's saying. But if I go to audio, there's no voice. It's just... Oh, no, there is voice volume. Voice can go up here. It's just the stupid master volume needed to be down. That's all. I think I'll be good, right? Hopefully I didn't change it horribly. Oh. Do you have to leave all of your guns behind because you're going through one of these doors? Is that what's happening? That's how this game feels like sometimes. That sucks, don't it? There's definitely some kind of gold down here, isn't there? There's got to be a piece of gold down here. I don't feel like looking for it no more. That gave me, like, I, I flash back to Skyrim when you fall down that one hole into a prison cell or something like that. We are good. My blood pressure did not rise that time. I let go. Oops. <laughs> you got double shotted. Thought you were all cool being a Nazi soldier until someone shot you in the back of the head. <laughs> I want one of those swords. What gun am I missing? The double barrel shotgun and something else. Oh! The Bomber Kuchuskis. This has got to be a sniper rifle, right? The Bomber Chonoskis. It's either down or up. I want to go down. Downsies for funsies. Secret area found. Bones. It's like IX zombies. <laughs> oh. As if. 
I guess he could have jumped from there to here too to find the secret area. There must have been the two ways in. It's fine. I like looking at these bones. There, for some reason, the lighting right here, look how good this lighting is with the bones and stuff. It's actually kind of cozy. I'd just like to hang out looking at this. This is like something that I just want to like kind of stare at because it's just like, I don't know. There's I like this. I like this a lot. Lighting like this coming through, I always wanted like a like kind of an orange deserty city zombie apocalypse game that's open world with this kind of lighting everywhere. I always thought that'd be cool. Kind of like how Resident Evil did it a little bit. Where you could feel the heat. That guy really just try. <laughs> Sometimes when playing a game like this, they really do try. They really do. I know why I'm a bit more sharper today, even though I'm a little more tired. I'm a little more exhausted, but uh, I think I know why I'm doing way better today. We're going to keep going down this route. Oh, <laughs> imagine that collapsed and I died right there because I was dumb. Why are you crying, Carjo? Does my baby need attention? Look at my little Bjorn. I just love this little thing right here. It's the sweetest little baby. Has the sweetest heart, sweetest face, everything. I just love him so much. Look at you. So proud of this little guy right here. I don't know how I feel about you being up on my desk. But you'd have to stay on your side because I don't want you to get around my computer. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you. LSK, don't hit the power button. Don't knock my computer off. I'm trusting you. Yes, that's my pizza. You want to sit right here in this spot? You can. I love you, my kitty. I got to get started, though. I hope that is sufficient for you, my boy. All right. <laughs> this, this game just looks so good. It looks so good. And it's not even the graphics, it's just the straight design and lighting is so good. That's all that matters. This, this is better than anything. There's only, like, I don't even know. I mean, to be honest, the most, my, my most favorite graphical game for looks are basically tiered like this. I, I might potentially put this game at third place, but I, I feel like it goes Black Ops 3 for looking... Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Then Ratchet and Clank Crack in Time. That one was outstanding. And then my number one game is Ratchet and Clank Raf Rift Apart for the like best graphical game I've ever played or seen. Horizon Zero Dawn's pretty good though. I'll put that at fourth place. But there's a lot of really good games, but definitely Rift Apart and Crack in Time take first and second. This game's definitely gotta be up there now. So this is so good. Oh, Bro, I thought I headshot you. How'd you survive? I know you're wearing a helmet and everything, but I just... Sometimes I just don't think that things should work that way. I mean, look at the way this room looks from right here. I just can't get over it. You know what? Look at this. Just look at it. I don't care. I don't care about my whole video now. Look at this part. Look at this. That lighting. I can't really hear any of the sound effects with this stupid headset, because it's just all boggled down to nothingness, so... But... Look at that. Just look at it. You see it? You understand it? You understand that this is just absolutely stunning? The whole scene and everything, and then if you stand right here with the light behind you, look at that. Just look at it. I'm... Can you compare it to really anything? No, you can't. Nothing holds a candle to this lighting right here. This is like, if if I was only rating games on lighting alone, I think this game right here got number one. For this, this little scene right here, and like the number one lighting scene I've seen. At least I like. Realistic ones, but... This is just sexy as sexy gets. It's holding back the pain. It only hurts a lot. Okay, there we go. Did the game just tell me how to jump? Sprint jump? <laughs> Are you being serious? Here's how you sprint jump. Make sure to sprint while jumping right here. Thanks, game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, I gotta hold that one back. Oh no, I just have some issues sometimes. Fire! Snake, 
Y'all fire like that, you little Nazi scum. Oh, that's what it was. I was playing this game and there was like this weird like amber alert sound saying, please do not use any elevators. Do not use any elevators. So when I came in here, I was just like, didn't I hear something bad about elevators just a little while ago? I was just playing and then I realized it was a different game. So this elevator is perfectly safe. Where? Hold on. It's not supposed to be this way. I think I want to pour myself another glass of chocolate milk. Hold on. I gotta get it. Yes, I threw the knife. Just thought I could hold it so I could let go and do it faster. That's it. How do I equip? Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, oh. Was someone shooting at me? Oh, thanks for lining that up for me, game. Uh, there's not gonna be a bunch of Nazis that come out of nowhere, right? Oh my goodness, I can't aim with a scope. That's it. I think we're good now. A lot of different things around here. Oh, this one's kind of rusty. That's kind of cool. I like the little bit of... Oh, wait a minute. I want to look at this armor a little more. I like that. That's cool. Is that the end of a chapter? Did we do it? This animation kind of freaks me out. The way they have this, like, animated... Chapter 3, Wolfenstein's Keep. I think that's where we're going to wrap things up, because we, we, did, we did quite a bit, not a little bit of time there. Yeah, I think we're done for today. Yep. Um... I hope you guys all enjoyed Wolfenstein the Old Blood. I can't wait to continue it tomorrow. 
Anyways, I am out of time for today, so I will see you guys later. Adios, amigos.